Is the US saying bye-bye to solar energy? Even though the Trump administration isn't a fan, solar isn't going away. Under Biden's Solar for All program, nearly half a million lower-income households were promised solar panels on their roofs and access to community solar farms through grants and incentives. For people, this meant little to no upfront costs and lower electricity bills in the future. But Trump canceled the $7 billion program, creating problems for projects that had already started. We have to rely on philanthropic partners or support or, or other creative means to be able to continue on our mission. Across the country, states are fighting back with lawsuits, but even if federal funding doesn't come back, there's still hope for solar. In the face of political reversals, we still have to recognize that the U.S. energy evolution is going to be governed mostly by markets. And in this case, because of the 80 to 90 percent cost reductions for renewables, in particular solar power. Nationally, the push for renewables has slowed, but as solar and wind are getting cheaper, they are here to stay.